So there's basically two big things that differentiate the new Phoenix 8 Pro from the original Phoenix 8. The new connected features with both LTE as well as satellite communications, but the other is the new micro LED display panel option. Now, interestingly, the AMOLED Phoenix 8 Pro did also get a slight upgrade here where the AMOLED Phoenix 8 Pros have the same peak brightness as their most current AMOLED displays like the ones that are found on their Foreigner 970, 570, and Venue X1. So the AMOLED models actually did get a slight upgrade here from the originals. But probably the bigger news, at least on the display side of things, is the new micro LED display option. And this allows for a peak brightness of 4,500 nits, which is basically way brighter than any other watch out there. Of course, that's gonna come at a cost and the price for the micro LED Phoenix 8 Pro is $19.99 in the US versus $12.99 for the equivalent AMOLED Phoenix 8 Pro. Is it worth it? I mean, that's definitely a lot more for this kind of cutting edge technology. So there's really no getting around the fact that there is a big price difference here. But what I wanted to do in this video is at least show you some sample footage of these two displays side by side, just so you can at least get an idea of the real world difference and if that actually makes a difference to you. Now indoors, it's pretty hard to tell a difference between these where each of the three brightness levels on each model, it's pretty similar for the most part. You can start to tell a difference at the highest brightness levels, but for the most part, it's the same inside. So the real benefit to these micro LED displays is gonna be for outdoor use, especially in sunny conditions. And this is where there is a stark difference between these two displays at all different brightness levels. And these displays also do adapt to different light conditions, so they can also pump that brightness up when it needs to overcome the sun. But another difference with the micro LED display is the visibility at off angles. And I actually found this to be a pretty big difference between the AMOLED models, where it was kind of crazy how well I could actually kind of see this at a glance. Now, they don't actually fire up every single pixel on the display to that 4,500 nits at its peak brightness. So it's going to be more noticeable on, let's say, like data pages where the white pixels are going to just be way brighter, which results in more contrast and easier readability. But in terms of color saturation and overall contrast, the AMOLED and micro LED displays seem to be pretty similar for the most part, but it does appear that the micro LED panel has a little bit more contrast, but that also could be due to the fact that the whites are just going to be a lot brighter. Now, one of the general benefits between micro LED displays is that they can be more efficient in some applications, but actually not in this case, where with how Garmin's actually using it here, it actually requires more power than its AMOLED counterpart, where that's actually a pretty big difference when it comes to battery life between these two. So ultimately, this kind of technology is really for that someone who wants the brightest display possible. But here's the thing, the AMOLED version of both the Phoenix 8 Pro as well as even the original Phoenix 8 are plenty bright. So the use case for this, I think, is definitely a little bit more limited, like let's say if you're on the sun or something like that. Now, there's some other interesting things about this technology here where the capacitive touchscreen is actually a completely different layer than the micro LED display itself versus AMOLED where the touchscreen and the display are all one piece. So that's one of the reasons why the micro LED Phoenix 8 Pro is actually thicker than the AMOLED counterpart. But then there's of course price where this is $700 more than the equivalent Phoenix 8 Pro AMOLED. Now, these kind of displays are incredibly challenging to produce and apparently due to the challenges behind production, there's also limited availability where they just can't produce these as in high quantities as AMOLED. However, on the flip side, micro LED is supposed to last a lot longer. So these use inorganic materials that don't degrade nearly as fast as the organic materials that are used in AMOLED displays. But ultimately, this is a lot of money for this micro LED Phoenix 8 Pro and a big difference between the AMOLED counterpart, which has all the same functionality, except it's just not as bright. So at this point, this is emerging technology. And that sort of shows where this is only available in the 51 millimeter size right now and isn't available in the 47 millimeter model and there's actually no 42 millimeter Phoenix 8 Pro at all, which is also a little bit of a bummer. But this is bleeding edge tech, which also means bleeding edge prices. And it's simply not for everyone. It's for that someone who wants the techiest of tech that you can get. And yeah, just a quick little video I wanted to do going over the differences between the new micro LED Phoenix 8 Pro versus the AMOLED version. And make sure to stay tuned for my thoughts around the new connected features of these watches as well. And if you found the information in this video to be useful, you know what to do with that like button down below. But this is the start of probably one of the craziest September, aka Tech Tempers that I can even remember. So make sure to subscribe to the channel to get notified of everything that I'll be dropping this month. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.